So this is my first diary entry for um, my observation time at Elder Wilkins School with uh, Mr. Sean Bowen. Um, the thing about the school is it is a second chance school. So it's a, a non-traditional school where uh, people or the, the kids uh, are coming from the other local high schools that are having trouble um adapting. So um, mainly it's it's a it's a, a school to get kids through just to graduate. The expectations are most of these kids aren't going to college. They just want to get their uh, high school diploma so they can, you know, be productive citizens in and uh, um, it's geared for the kid to um, work at its own pace. Um, they don't need to um, attend class even. So if the student is going ahead and making sure that um, they're doing their work on time and passing it in, showing up for class every day is optional. So therefore, uh, like today, there was only two kids in the classroom. So it, it is an optional class uh, room situation, uh, but the teacher is there um and one thing I noticed that was really nice today was um, there's a program, the prom's coming up. There's a program that the kids can go ahead and get uh, financial help um, with their taxi to and prom, uh, for prom. And this is something that uh, the the, the uh, leadership of, of the school uh, has solicited donations uh, for folks to, to uh, help these kids. So um, overall... It's not the best classroom setting for a traditional uh, classroom. I'm not, you know, I, I probably won't get a lot out of the school, but there is a lot of, um, like the teacher told me, it's a 70% social uh, worker, 30% uh, educator. So um, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Thank you. So this is my video for um, April 13th visit uh, to uh, Mr. Bowen's class. Um, getting more of a, a picture of what uh, goes on there as uh, students are free to come and go. A lot of these students have needs that, um, don't, that, that don't allow them to be in the classroom so they can go ahead and um, work from home. Uh, today they discussed uh, more of an economics, but um, Mr. Bowen also made a, a comparison to his life when he was in Korea and talked about exchange rates. So there was a lesson in there that um, had some self-experience from Mr. Bowen, which was really beneficial. Also, he complimented a student on the work she has done that is so much improved now than it was at the beginning of the year. So he uh, lets them know of the ongoing progress they're making. And it was very encouraging and, and uh, uh, something that I'll take away and uh, hope to do uh, with kids in my future. Thank you. So this is my video diary for my visit on the 27th of April. Um, pretty normal class. Uh, the class begins um, with uh, handing out test results um, from um, recent uh, assessments given. Um, the teacher's very, very encouraging even our students that didn't do well he encourages them to come back uh, to him talk about what they can do to improve their grade maybe it's study habits maybe it's test taking skills things like that um, then he gives out some report cards um, this uh, non-traditional school works on a four week period or a four week semester so they're always getting updates it's the first two weeks uh, is a progress report, and then after four weeks, a new report card. So things move uh, pretty quickly here as they try to get through the, the classes they need to graduate um, high school. Uh, also, um, he speaks about um, if the United States should become a police state um, with uh, references to places like the genocide in Rwanda. Um, as an as a backdrop, so um, the kids were encouraged, uh, not encouraged, but engaged in this conversation um, because with things that are going on in, in Ukraine and, and and other places in the world, um, you know there is a question with the United States having the best military. Should we become uh, um, the policemen of the world? 
So that was an interesting conversation. Um, thank you. So today was um, my last day monitoring or observing um, my, uh, my uh, as a student teacher at um, Alger Wilkins High School. Um, today was an interesting day. Um, as this is a non-traditional school, things are um, wrapping up. There are less students, but I did get to see some behaviors by the teacher that I found uh, uh, that I, I would want to model my behaviors after um, when I become a teacher. So um, the first thing, something very interesting happened where a student was in between classes on FaceTime Live and he had a stolen credit card and um, it was going to come down that the police were probably going to have to come down and arrest him and um, it got a little a little messy. He had to go to the office and I think the police then did show up and arrest him. So um, that's one of the sad things about some of the, the students in this um, uh, non-traditional school setting. But uh, I, I did get to witness something that really warmed my heart um, as another student came in and then when the last period was starting and I was getting ready to leave and I saw the teacher uh, talk to a couple of the other uh, new students for that fourth period, it was really heartwarming um, to see the genuine um, feelings that they had for each other. All throughout the year, he's built up this trust and um, relationship with these kids where they felt, um, you know, that he cared about them and that there were, their relationship um, uh, was genuine and mattered. And, and I really like that part uh, about my final day there. And uh, um, I do hope that that will be part of uh, the relationship I get to build with my students um, 